Hey guys, today I am incredibly pleased to bring you, you know, you know how I feel about custom pull-up dolls. I'm a little bit crazy about them. This is one of my absolute favorites. This is a custom pull-up by Namiens. Uh, they are a company in Thailand. She is a very, very popular customizer. She's a little bit pricey, but let me tell you something. Worth every penny, okay? Um, I had her do just the face up. So what I'm going to do is talk about the doll and then the, you know, end with the, the face up because I really think that's what I want you guys to, to see here. But I did take a little bit of time to put this doll together just, just so. So let me start with the wig here. I got this just recently. Um, Leak World had a sale, believe it or not, that made the wigs almost affordable. <laughs> and this was an art wig that is kind of a, it's almost a platinum blonde. It's like a white blonde. It's very thick, lots of curls, and it's got those little barrettes that give her the effect of the two, um, two little tails here. But I thought it really complemented her face. The outfit I have borrowed from one of my other custom dolls, uh, a Neri Apozo doll. Uh, she is another customizer who's just lovely and she does these little dresses. The necklace I added from a Barbie, believe it or not. I just thought it was super cute and delicate and I thought it went well with the dress. Um, the socks are borrowed from Pull-Up Galeen. And the shoes I got from um, Sugar Lattice. And that's a store on, they're a shop on Store Envy. I'll put some of these links so you can kind of shop around and see if there's something you like. Okay, so her eye chips, I splurged here, okay? I got Almond Doll eye chips for her. They are probably the most pricey eye chips I have seen, but they're just beautiful. They are a blue, I don't know what the official color is, but they're just so pretty. And I thought this was a special enough doll that would, um, would be worth it. All right, so let me talk about her face. So Namians has a very, um, very trademarked look to her dolls. They're almost angelic. They have a very sweet, innocent quality to them. You know, big lips and light face up, but just almost, I mean, I, I dare say otherworldly, but she does have this, just this very um, sweet look to all of her dolls. Uh, and this is no exception. So you can see she's just got light um, blush, those trademark lips, and very thin and very sweet little eyebrows. And she's very good at taking um, your you know, directions into account. So however you want your eyelids to be uh, done, she will do whatever you want. What I had asked was very simple. I just wanted the gold. I think if I ever decide to splurge again, I might go with a color. I might go with like a light blue, but I wanted something that was very um, earth tone. You know, I didn't want anything too showy, too colorful. Just got her eye stuck. Sorry, honey. Okay, and then lastly, something that I absolutely love about Namians, and I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, is she does this kind of sort of airbrushing um, luminescent uh, finish to the skin where she almost looks alive. She almost looks like she has a little sparkle to her skin. Anyway, I, I'll put some of these pictures on Flickr, but if you can capture it here, I don't know if you can, but she's so, so pretty. I can't even put into words. So if you have any questions about custom dolls, maybe even about, um, you know, commissioning custom dolls from far away because I've got some experience now, you know, working with uh, customizers all over the world, and I'd be happy to, you know, answer questions or if you have comments, it'd be great. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.